Hi DIYers, Joey from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about using the Lynx touch panel as a secondary controller in a Z-Wave network. Now, there's a few instances where you might want to do this, and let's actually go over what it is in the first place. So, with the using the L7000 as an example, <clears throat> the Lynx touch panels, many of them can have a Z-Wave module inside, installed inside of them, which will allow you to control Z-Wave devices that you connect to the system. These devices are stuff like light switches, door locks, and other automation devices. Now there's a whole bunch of things out there right now that do and act as Z-Wave controllers, and you may have one of these in your home. Now, as you may know, Z-Wave devices, they can only be directly connected to one Z-Wave controller. So let's say you have something like a Samsung SmartThings installed in your house, and you have a bunch of lights connected to that, and then for whatever reason you get a, a Lynx touch panel and you also have a Z-Wave controller inside of this. When you get this installed, if you don't use it as a secondary controller, you would have to pick which controller you add a light switch to, which can get messy and really annoying. For example, let's say you have a front door light that you have connected to your Samsung SmartThings and it's in scenes and rules, so it works based on certain things. You're probably also going to want that connected to the Lynx panel so that based on alarm conditions, you can have the light turn on and off. In the event where you don't have it as a secondary controller, you'd actually have to remove it from the Samsung SmartThings and add it to the Lynx panel. Now you're going to be in the situation where you're going around the house and you're figuring out which device you want on which controller, which isn't practical and it's going to get really frustrating. What the secondary controller function is going to allow you to do is when you enroll the Lynx as a secondary controller to the Samsung SmartThings or whatever other Z-Wave controller you have, it's going to see the same automation devices and it will be able to control them. The downside is that you're not going to be able to learn Zio devices into the secondary directly. It's going to pull it from the primary controller. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Samsung SmartThing app just to show that we do have a Zio device program to the Samsung SmartThings. So on the tablet, I'm going to click on SmartThings and then I'm going to go to my home. And as you can see, there's a Z-Wave demo right there under things. This isn't currently programmed into our Lynx touch panel, and when we add the Lynx touch panel as a secondary controller, it's actually going to pull it over. So if we go to our Lynx controller, or our Lynx panel, click on automation, and I click on switches, you can see that there's no switches that are currently uh, enrolled. Z-Wave switches, that is. So what I'm going to do is go back, I'm going to press the down arrow, click on tools, and then do advanced tools, enter the installer code 4112, and we're going to wait on this screen while we put the smart things into the enrollment mode. So on our smart things, we're going to click on the add a thing button. Now it's looking for devices. All we have to do on our links panel is click on learn. Now this may take a moment, so be patient. And as you can see, it says, In our SmartThing app, we can see that the Z-Wave controller is showing up, which is the Lynx panel. And when we see that, we can click Save. It's going to say Confirm Paired Devices. Go ahead and click OK. And then in our app, we see that the Z-Wave controller has shown up. On the Lynx panel, you're going to have to wait until this screen uh, completes its process. Once it says done, you can click OK. Then if we go back and we click on switches again, we'll see that that switch that is enrolled to the SmartThings hub is now showing up on our Lynx panel. Now, one of the benefits to using a Lynx Touch as a secondary controller as compared to a VAM or a Tuxedo Touch is that when it's acting as a secondary controller, you'll still be able to control the Zio devices in the Z-Wave network through Total Connect 2.0. If you have a Tuxedo Touch or a VAM working as a secondary controller, the Z-Wave devices that are connected on that Z-Wave network, you won't be able to access those through Total Connect. So just to show you this as an example, I'm going to log into Total Connect 2.0 on the iPad and show you that I can still see the switch that we enrolled. So I'm going to click on Total Connect 2.0. As you can see, I'm already logged in. If I go to Automation, you'll see that the switch is able to be interacted with, even though the L7000 is working as a secondary controller uh, with the SmartThings hub.
That's how to add the Lynx Touch system as a secondary controller on a Z-Wave network to an existing hub. If you have any questions about this process, as it can be kind of confusing, feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or head to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a good day.